Hi and welcome along to AFTV Transfer Daily, the show that keeps you up to date with players that have been linked with a summer transfer move to Arsenal. Kicking off today, first of all, with Alvaro Morata. Did you guys see Morata yesterday in the Euros? Started for Spain, played up front, and I've got to say, I wasn't very impressed. It was not a good performance, I thought, by Alvaro Morata, a player that's been linked with Arsenal very heavily. Big price tag on his head. As a matter of fact, also Lukaku last night. Again, another player linked with Arsenal. Another one of the strikers out there that everybody's talking about. Again, not impressive. You can't judge it off of one game in the Euros, but certainly both of those weren't good auditions um, for players that are looking for big money moves. And kind of shows to me that there is a lack of real top quality strikers around um, at the moment. Um, one striker that we have been linked with today is Islam Slimani. Slimani, he plays at the moment for Sport in Lisbon. Uh, he's an Algerian international. Apparently has a buyout clause of 23.5 23 million pounds. He scored a whopping 27 goals last season and is seen as an alternative to Jamie Vardy by Arsenal. Um, the interesting thing is, is that even Leicester see him as an alternative to uh, Jamie Vardy because they are apparently very interested in buying him as well if Vardy leaves. So that's a real interesting one. Uh, the, the manager of sport in Lisbon claims that he's better than Vardy. He would say that, obviously. Um, but we're being linked with Slimani today. Uh, also, um, Gonzalo Higuain. Uh, news yesterday that Napoli are prepared to up his wages to £110,000 a week to fend off any interest from a whole host of teams that are interested in him. Arsenal are interested in him, Chelsea, lots of clubs throughout Europe. He scored over 30 odd goals last season. He's a proven goal scorer, a player that we should have signed a couple of seasons ago. It's so frustrating when you talk about Gonzalo Higuain because he would have been absolutely perfect for Arsenal. And now Napoli, uh, obviously, you can't blame them. They want to hang on to this guy. He's absolute class. And they know that, as I said right at the top of the show, there's not a lot of fantastic strikers around at the moment. So top class guys like him are going to command a lot of money. Um, Henrik Mkhitaryan uh, linked yet again today to Arsenal. Uh, we've been told that Borussia Dortmund sporting director has come out and has said that, listen, we're going to sort out his future by the end of the week. Of course, uh, as I explained many a time on the show, he has one year left on his contract, the dreaded one year. We've been through that with Robin Van Persie. They got a choice. They can hang on to him for the one year and then he walks away for free, or they can cash in on him now, get about 20 million pounds for him. And um, I think they're probably gonna cash in. They, they've getting too, they're losing too many players like that recently. Lewandowski left like that. They don't want to, to see that happen again. Um, so they probably will end up cashing in on him. Where will he go? We've been told that Arsenal are very interested. I've heard behind the scenes that Arsenal and Wenger really likes Mkhitaryan. Mkhitaryan has come out before and said he loves Arsenal, but I think it's going to boil down to who offers him the best deal, who offers him the most money. Um, will be where Henrik Mkhitaryan turns up, but we've been told that his future is going to be decided this week. And uh, finally, Kalechi Enwakali. Now, Kalechi Enwakali... I thought I'd previously done a deal to sign for Arsenal way back in um, the January transfer window. I remember speaking about him. Uh, he's 18, um, a midfielder, another one. And uh, he was the player of the tournament at the uh, Under-17 World Cup last year. And it's re been reported that he's told friends and family back in Nigeria and also the press in Nigeria that he signed a five-year deal with Arsenal and that he's going to be joining Arsenal for next season. Uh, as I said, Enwakali, very highly rated, but another midfielder. <laughs> Arsene Wenger likes a midfielder. He loves them. Um, let's get into some of your comments from yesterday. And by the way, thank you to everybody who sends in the comments. Every day we get like a thousand comments on these videos. It's absolutely incredible. Um, I try to read as many as them as possible. I spend like half my, I was on a train yesterday up to Liverpool and I just like read every single comment and some of the comments are absolutely brilliant. And you guys, a lot of you guys are so knowledgeable. It's really, really good. Um, not, not Astronaut says, Walcott is basically a symbol of what Wenger has done for the last 10 years. At first, everyone is like, yeah, it's going to happen. Then we think, well, 
give it some more time. Then we get rid of him. Uh, then we all think, let's get rid of him. And finally, he's our boy, boy, he's our boy after all. And we keep paying him £120,000 a week and wait to see if something happens. I like that one. Um, and he says, the same cycle every season is what he says. Um, remember, we spoke about Walcott yesterday. Could he be on his way out if Mkhitaryan comes in? Justin Michel says, I think Arsenal should buy Mkhitaryan for, say, £15 million and add Fia Walcott to the deal. So he's not a Walcott fan. Uh, Black, Star Black Sky TV IE says, people saying, oh, get rid of Walcott, need to chill first. First of all, Walcott has been playing in a position, um, a striker that is new to him. Players like Giroud have been playing uh, as a striker all his life and has mastered playing that role, whereas Walker has always had to play on the flank and you would expect him to adapt to a new position in the two seasons. I think it's not smart to change positions. Um, and I think basically what he's saying there is that Walcott is being played out of position um, out on the wing if we played him as a striker, but we did that last season if you remember at the start of the season Walcott was playing as a striker and he didn't deliver he did not deliver last season and you know he needs to start delivering and if you play him as a striker and you don't deliver then he's going to get shifted back out to the flanks because Wenger then thinks to himself, well, at least his pace out on the flanks can hurt teams. But even out on the flanks, he didn't deliver last season. Very poor season for Theo. If he had had a decent season, he'd be in the England team right now. Um, what do you guys think um, about the latest rumours about Slimani? Do you guys know anything about this guy? Anybody out there who knows about Slimani and thinks he'd be a good addition to the team, let me know. Leave it in the comments below. And let me know about strikers. I mean... Are there any good strikers that are available out there? We know Aubameyang and these guys, but are they really available? Ones that you could go right now and say, table like a £30 million bid, say 20 to £30 million, and get a good striker done. Is, are they out there? Is Slimani one of these? Let us know in the comments below, and thanks for watching. I'll be back around about the same time tomorrow.